what is going on guys ghost here today we are back mm, mm. we are okay you know what? we're gonna stop that all right today we have a couple things we gotta go do um we've got to pick up a order to haul um got let, let's go ahead and start the old truck a lot of people like the old uh the old ford here a lot of people actually like the color and everything of it so i should leave it like that so i think we're actually going to do that um it seems like it's a pretty good truck i haven't really driven too too much but it just seems like it is but today we got to go haul that and also i was looking on the old fake book and uh i found on today's pick um a really cool item this is a 90s model uh single wide apparently it came from a trailer park or shut down doesn't need anything we're looking for a house everything and there is a piece of land that i've been looking at right down the road um it looks pretty good uh, apparently like the story is the owner was going to put a trailer on it but changed their mind so we're going to swing by look at it real fast and apparently where we have to deliver this uh whatever we gotta pick up it's near where that trailer is so we might look at the trailer and stuff so we might be buying you know the land i think they want 10 grand for which is actually like super cheap apparently the owner just wants to get rid of it and the house is only eight grand which is actually pretty good you know for a single wide if it looks good you know some people be trying to sell like that you know 1970s you know shag carpet wood paneling for, you know like 15 grand or something like let me tell you i give you five you know all right let's go ahead let's sit over this land actually isn't that far we got a little early start this morning so we should be good we should be too late anything coming no so we're making some moves and everything uh and also the parts for the truck uh the the ram the flatbed ram uh the ram uh the ram <laughs> The ranch head bumper and tires should be in the Morris, so that's a plus. We'll be able to get it out of the shop. And I got the wrap coming in today uh, to be able to wrap that for. All right, so apparently this is land. Now, I was, like, reading up on it, and it goes from the end of the road there all the way down. There's, like, a shop down there. We can head back up. This is the driveway, because you can tell, like, they put some time into it but something happened and they just decided not to put a house up here looks like we need to do a little work to the driveway it's just a little bit bumpy even comes with some uh some daggone uh, boards but you see where they kind of flatten it out to put the single or a, a, a double wide or some kind of trailer i was like yeah, that'd be pretty good it's like everything's falling together for us but there's a little flat spot here and kind of overlooks it. it does have a pond i've always wanted land to have like a little pond in it tell me this is not cool got some rocks here so that's actually cool because uh, if we put our house here it would overlook it and i mean it's it's a big little area here i mean it really is what's this we got like a little oh it's a little fountain thing that's actually kind of <laughs> relaxing now, apparently it goes back to where these trees are and i was looking at like a, a the graph or maps and i wish it went all the way back but apparently it don't it just goes right here it was beast nest or oh, i'm not beast nest uh, uh hives well, that's pretty cool it is a pretty nice little place and stuff um i was like we could put some like horses in here maybe get a little like Nothing like extremely big, but maybe do like a little garden, have horses, maybe put a barn up or something. This would be a really nice place. I'm thinking about buying it. It's not too far from the shop. And that way we do have a place and, you know, I mean, we can get rid of the monthly payment for the rent, everything like that. Plus we can do stuff. And I'll put me a little shop here at the, the garage or a little shop here at the house where we could do just small stuff on their own, like changing tires or something like that, you know. But let's head over and grab the whatever we got to haul. It didn't really explain where what we're getting. It. Apparently, we're going to the bowling alley. Do we got to haul it? So I'm thinking it's probably like maybe a bowling alley machine or 
some sort like that, but I don't know. We'll see. And they also put like a little like area here. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Um, it's like a they call it like food row or something. I think they got like a little car lot over there. I think it's still opening, but they got like hamburgers and pizzas place and everything. I mean, it's a nice little like area. It's like almost like a little Italian like village type deal. And they got a big old pond over here. I like that auristic barn up there. Anyways, um, they, where my buddy works, he said that they changed it. This is where you'll be picking up packages and everything like that. So that's their shipping like location that we'll be picking stuff up at and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. It actually isn't too far from the shop either. So a lot of changes being made. Except for this stupid bridge, ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, onward to the whatever we gotta get. All right, apparently uh, the shop that we're going to is gonna be up here to our left. I don't think we've picked up anything down through here. I see something up there. It looks like a bag on propane tank. So maybe we're hauling a propane tank. I don't know, cause we have to. If we're hauling a propane tank, I'm pretty sure we'd have to have like like a like a hazard license or something for that. I'm pretty sure, but I, I don't have one. I don't even have DOT numbers on this truck, because I mean, we're just, we just say we take donations when we haul stuff. <laughs> oh, goodness. I feel like they would have a little bit bigger thing. Transport. Hmm. What does it say? Further, faster, safer. Then they call me. What the crap is that? It's a giant bowling pin. What? No. Is that what I'm hauling? I mean, I, that was a stupid question. I'm here to pick up something for a bowling alley. And I just asked, is that what I'm hauling? What? That is, like, awesome. Look, it's a giant bowling pin. I, let me go at, I hope that's, I hope that's what I'm supposed to be. Where's their steps at? Is there steps here? Wow, you gotta go all the way around here? Or is this, this is the door? I feel like up here would be the door. Maybe this is the door. Wait, is this, is it? No, okay, that, okay, no, it's not the door. They need signs that says use other door or something. This is the door. All right. Hey, hey, do it, yeah. Yeah, I'm here with, uh, hamster transport, yes. Yeah, um, is it the giant bowling pin? Because it said it was going to the bowling alley. Yeah, that's why I said it was probably a stupid question. All right, um, okay, y'all learned it. All right, thanks, yeah, for the paperwork. It looked at me weird while I was like, is that what's going to the bowling alley? Y'all better be lucky. Y'all paid me a grand to haul this sucker. Not bad. They're supposed, I guess they're going to bring out a forklift to put on here for us. <laughs> oh, it's so cool, though. All right, we are ready to rock and roll. We got the old pin. But uh, look at that aerodynamics. No wonder we didn't have to like haul a big old giant bowling ball. That might be next. I don't know. And then like a big old bowl, a bowling shoe. Yeah. I feel like a bowling pin would probably be more legit than like a bowling ball. Because then you'd be like, oh, it's just a big ball. But this you'd be like, oh, it's a bowling pin. You see, see what I mean? It's okay. Yeah, so... Let's rock and roll. Get this 6-0 in the wind. I don't think it's really heavy because the trailer didn't even squat. For the trucks. I think we're good. We're good to go. We should get some looks on this. I need a sign on the truck that says Hamster Wheels Transport. And then I feel like that's when the DOT definitely can get you. But yeah, where's your numbers at? I'm like, what? What do you mean? This is transport to haul grandma's furniture. Our knitting equipment. Oh, hey, coming through, giant pin, back off. Is that going to go another way? Oh, wait, no, that's another way. I was like, oh, somebody's going to that shop. Everybody, is that my giant bowling pin? This is actually pretty cool, though. What's next, the giant hamburger? Hmm. It's like a Paula top secret thing. All right, to the bowling alley we go. Got the 6-0, and we're very slow. We're actually not that slow. This thing gets real fishy, though, when you uh, 
get in, like, uh, go around curve. You know what? I'm going to stop real fast. I need to get me a Slim Jim. I skipped breakfast this morning. Ain't nothing like the Slim Jim. We, need, we don't need no diesel. It's truck real good. I'll pull up right here because it's just awesome looking. All right, let me get a Slim Jim. Yeah. All right, so I just spent $25 on about a Slim Jim and some daggone scratchies. Lost all my money on the old scratch off, so that sucks. But I do have one of those like Randy Savage Monster Slim Jims. Some of y'all gonna be like, yeah, boy, I know about that. All right, time to get serious, time to go to work. It's to the floor. Watch out now. I'm about to break loose on traction. Still waiting for it. 61 miles an hour. Truck in front of me better be getting out the way. Oh, we got a little hill climb coming up. I like how it says dead end, but we're going to the left. I know where the bowl now is. That's where we actually bought a Ford bed from him before. Oh, I got a car behind. Oh, no, they're going that way. It's like, man, I didn't know there's a car behind me. I'm just sitting here just strolling. All right, I got a giant bowling pin for old Billy Bob the Bolaramo. Where's Bill Murray at? We'll get him to sign for this because he he played that movie with the the bowler. Like if you don't if you ain't ever seen it. Kingpin or something like that. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah, they need like two of them, like two pins to put right here. That would be awesome. Just like we're, we're helping out, you know, the neighborhood. What's it say? Every Monday, play three for two dollars. Burger night every Thursday, bumper bowling for kids. I want one of those that you put like the dinosaur down, you roll the ball down. Yeah, but dabba do. All right, let's go see about delivering this bad boy. Hey, yeah, I got a question. Yeah, did y'all order a giant bowling pin? Yeah, I got one on a trailer. I figured it was y'all's. I stopped by a taco market thing down there. They said they didn't order it. <laughs> now nah, I mess with you. Yeah, I got it out here on trailer. Where do you want me to put it? Run back. Okay. All right. I told them I got it from the daggone taco place. They didn't want it. But yeah, y'all didn't. Order, I, like, I swear I thought y'all ordered a giant bowling pin. Maybe we're gonna put it like on their roof or something. I mean, I feel like that would probably be the best bet to put it on the roof. I don't know. I said bring it out back. Like, I love how they have these cones set up right here. Hang on, I gotta do this. Hey, honey. Pick it up and then. Uh, we knocked over. Yeah, score! Huh. Yeah, I got this. Huh. I'm the champion. Alright, let me tell them. Hey, y'all got a forklift? Are oh, y'all bringing one out? All right, yeah, I'll go ahead and unstrap everything. All right, so let's go ahead and unstrap all this. And then, if I'm not mistaken, the trailer is like up on these roads. I mean, if I buy this trailer, I'm pulling it with my truck. I ain't, I mean, the semi ain't working, and I'm, I'm just going to pull it with the old 6.0. It's the only dually I have. I figured it would do it. If not, then I break it, and it is what it is. It overheats, so head gasket, you know, stuff like that, I will. All right, where's their forklift guy? Yeah. All right, we got this off. That is so cool. That is, that is awesome. Like, I give them props for this, because that is awesome. Anyways, let's hop back in the truck. We're going to go look at... Actually, hang on. I should probably go around and, like, we delivered it, give us our money. That would be the best bet. Hang on, so... Got to recoup, like... It's going to be $1,025, because I lost uh, $25 on some uh, scratch-offs on this run. <laughs> All right, yeah, here's everything. All right, we got that. I'm guessing we aren't getting the $25 tip. All right, let's roll up here and see what this looks, uh, see what this trailer looks like. I'm hoping it's looking good. Is it Bowen Alley Road? And I'm guessing this is Bowen Alley Road or side road or road to the side. I, it looks like I've seen this house from, uh, before because some of these houses, they look familiar. And I'm guessing that's it right there. Check that out. 
just gonna cruise on out here. Well, it's gonna get a shot. Like how it says rough road. It's like this is a highway compared to like roads in West Virginia. I'll tell you that right now. Alright. Let's take a look at this. So, I like it. Everything looks good. It looks clean too. It looks like they cleaned it. This would be good for our starter home. I ain't, no, I ain't got no million dollars. Like I said, we're slowly building up our money and basically all of our money is counted for in the video series. So check this bad boy out. Wide load. Yeah. I think the old truck will pull it. I mean, I don't know if it would or not. Uh, let's go talk to, talk to somebody here. Somebody here. I don't know if there is or not. Might have to come back another day. Hello? Housekeeping? I don't know about here. It's like, I'll wait to do that one day. Like, just somebody shoot out the door or something. We gotta watch around these parts, man. It's like, woo! I'll shoot you. And then ask questions later. Like, why are you on property? Oh, never mind. He did. Uh, I'm gonna hit this back out of here. Oh, man. Oh, back right up here. They put gravel here. Dang on if I ain't gonna use it. Look at that. Perfect. Probably do a little better, but it's okay. Alright, well, let's head on back to the shop. We just delivered our giant bowling pin. Um, put in the comments, should I buy the land and stuff? I'll probably end up. I think I might go this way. Probably end up buying it and everything. I think that will be a good asset. We'll have a, you know, a, a home, land, and, uh, We'll put us a little garage there and everything, and maybe a little barn, little, you know, we'll just get just like, almost like a little 8 in tractor or something, just to do some uh, plowing and do a little garden, put some onions or something in there of that nature. That way we do have that. I mean, you know, all work and no play. Maybe ghost the dull, dull, dull boy. I, you know what, whatever. Y'all know what it is. Anyways, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Make sure you hit that like button. It always helps the channel out. And make sure to put some ideas on what stuff we should do, what we should build, or anything like that. Anyways, guys, I am out of here. <laughs> Woo! America! Let the eagle sing! Eagles are tired this morning. We're not letting them out too much. Well, we are rolling coal. <laughs> yeah!